Hello all, welcome to Lead Technologies. In this session, we'll discuss about Oracle eBusiness Suite version history and also the tools required for the developer to learn. I thank you all for watching my videos and it provides a great insight for me to improve the sessions. I'll try to do my best in the coming session also. Let's get into outline. What is an ERP? How does, what does an eBusiness Suite contain? and the version history and the skills required for a developer to learn. So developers who are not into ERP, they may not know what exactly it is. Maybe like a, they may not have a clarity on what it is. So basically ERP, the term ERP means enterprise resource planning. It generally it is used in the industry. I mean to say like a, Many of the companies, why do they use an ERP application as to integrate the set of resources? In any of the organization, if you consider it as a small manufacturing company, it will have the HR department, it will have the finance department, it will have manufacturing department, it will have suppliers, it will have vendors, right? So to, and all requires a communication, nothing but HR depends upon finance, finance depends upon manufacturing, manufacturing depends upon suppliers and vendors. So it all depends, right? So it requires a good integration, nothing but you require, you need to have an application which allows you to flow the data from one particular application to another application. Nothing but you require a good amount of communication, right? So general ERP is like it's a software, it's an integrated software which is required for the business to automate. Okay, it's not, it's, I'm not talking about the automation generally which, are, which is available in the testing stuff. It is a quite different one. It's nothing but a digitization of your enterprise, right? Now, like these days, if you observe here, always you have an electronic billing kind of thing, right? Nobody writes a particular uh, bill using a pen and paper kind of thing, right? It's always a computer-based stuff, right? So ERP is a software. Now in the current trend, ERP is a general enterprise resource planning is a software which is required to integrate all the applications. So most predominantly financials, HRMS, human resource management, and manufacturing and customer relationship management, right? These are the famous, famous modules of ERP. What does the e-business suit contain? So as I said you, e-business suit is a software. E-business suit is a software and e-business suit is an ERP from the from the vendor Oracle. Nothing but Oracle is the one who Oracle is the company who is designed e-business suit, right? So what does, the ERP, what does this Oracle e-business suit contain? It contains larger number of modules. So what do you mean by a module? No, the module is nothing but you know, like uh, now in the global, uh, now if you consider the companies which are there all over the world, right? So a company may, now if you consider like a, a companies are divided into industries, right? You may have a telecom industry, you have a banking industry, you may have life sciences industry, right? Each industry, the major, the main motto of any of the industry is to growth and to improve the money right to increase the money right and to sustain what is what are what the business what they are doing right and also to maintain the resources in a productive manner so each industry may require a different set of application isn't it now let us say if you are from the banking industry they may require a different set of application if it is from the life sciences life sciences what you say if your client is from life sciences they may require a different set of application right if your client is specifically into human resource kind of industry they may require a different set of application that's the reason e business suit is a software which have a larger number of modules financials hrms supply chain crm manufacturing and many more okay so these are called modules so erp is a bigger software it will have n number of modules the client chooses which modules they want they want in their particular organization to implement and again it all depends upon the license right it's not like just a, a single product and it's not just it, it, it is the subscription is based on the number of modules and users right so the, uh, customers has to choose the license this particular modules accordingly based on their requirement okay so let me reiterate the definition again and generally in the market you know like uh, e-business suit they also call it as ebiz Okay, then just sometimes they also call it as Oracle Labs. Okay, so but you need to have a clarity whether what they are referring to because Oracle company is having large number of ERP application. This is not the only ERP from the Oracle. You have Siebel, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, Fusion, eBusiness Suit, NetSuit, right? There are large number of ERP applications available from the Oracle. So when you are working on something or when you want to learn something, always have a clarity which version and which application, I mean the application name, carefully understand which application name you, which you want to learn or work, okay? And the technical stack, right? So as I said you, eBusiness Suite is just a simple software 
it's a three tier application which will have a front end middle tier as well as back end so the back end is a database nothing but it uses oracle database why it uses oracle database because this is oracle product so obviously it will use oracle oracle database and next coming to other thing is like it will have something such some set of ui tools generally we call it as forms reports forms reports and they have appropriate 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 tools which are there to develop okay and the middleware it uses an it uses an oracle application server and you know like uh, here the one more important thing you have to understand is right now in the market the e business suite version which are used by customers they are on either 11i or maybe 1213 or maybe 1226 or 12.21 a lot number of versions are there right so each customer is still on a particular older version and some customers are very on the newer version it's similar to your android phone right now some customers are on the very latest version some customers are still using the very very old version right it depends upon the customer interest and their you know like uh, their it strategy and even oracle strategy right there are a lot number of things comes into picture but the current but the technical staff technical stack of e business suite is this one okay so the only difference if you observe from the 121 to 122 is the web logic application server okay this is a major difference in the technical stack area from the earlier versions to the current version and if you observe the evolution when it started someone asked you know like how old your application is right so it started in 1987 okay so it's around 31 years oracle erp is there in the market right and every year every 6 months or depends upon the oracle strategy it releases a different set of versions right now the current version which got released in september 18 is 12 to 8 okay so and you know like there was there was a what you say there was a difference of opinion in last 2 years or 1 year from oracle you know like oracle never mentioned what exactly they want to do with oracle e business suite but now clearly we got a vision from oracle saying that they'll continually develop oracle e business suite we doesn't need to worry about the evolution of the saas application because oracle e business suite still an on premise application right of course of course you can shift or lift and shift your oracle e business suite to any of the ipas platforms but still a general general tendency or general usage of the oracle erp is on premise erp okay and the right now the current version is oracle 12 to 8 i am coming to the very important uh, what to say discussion of my lecture is like uh, what are the skills required to learn this one right so developers who are already working in any of the programming language for them it is quite easy to learn or let us say if developers who are not working in any of the programming language still i'll say it is easy to learn the reason is if you observe the technical programming what you require to learn for oracle e business suite is just three languages sql pl sql and core java well, these are the only three languages which you require to learn to get into oracle e business suite of course it involves good amount of functional knowledge also but see if you have interest it is always easy to learn but generally compare into any other programming language let us say if you compare with dot net or maybe jsp or some other programming language like maybe python it is quite easy it is very much very much moderate it's very much easy so only thing is you require an interest and you require some good amount of uh, not good amount it's just a basic level of functional knowledge you have to have it the reason is this erp application is specifically involves larger number of modules as a developer you should have a good understanding of database and you require good amount of pl sql programming because if you observe here in erp you have these set of tools we generally call we generally call them as rice components r i c e components reports interfaces conversion extension workflow forms and of in any of the erp application you consider it will have these set of components you may have a different name but generally they have rice components any erp you consider sap sales for work the any erp application you consider it always will it always will have a reports integration and a user interface components okay now coming to this uh, specific our oracle e business suite and there are two reporting technologies one is rdf reports and other is xml publisher reports here if you observe this is a tool which you require to learn and the tech, the programming language what you require is just sql as well as xml as well as either sql and pl sql coming to the interfaces and conversion so interfaces is interfaces and conversion i'll not get deeper into what exactly the functionality of that particular component but i just want to tell you what skills you require to learn a particular component interfaces and conversion you just require a unix shell scripting stuff sql pl sql and a basic knowledge of web service is required because these days if you observe many of the applications are providing a web service 
for the purpose of integration. So that's the reason you better have a knowledge. It, it doesn't need to design any web service in the e-business suite application, but you just require understanding of web service. What is a web service? How it works? What is the usage? Try to learn, understand that. And coming to the extension, you just require a SQL, PL, SQL, and Oracle e-business suite AOL knowledge. It's called application. It's 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 a AOL is a foundation. A, a, Application object library is a foundation module of Oracle business suite. Okay, and next one is workflow This is used for the purpose of notification purpose internally and generally it, it doesn't it's just a specifically a tool and Internally it doesn't require any programming also you just drag and drop but if you want to Write any business logic you just need to write SQL PL SQL again and the next one is Oracle forms It's again an Oracle proprietary tool forms developer and it may require SQL PL SQL programming other one is the final one is a J developer and it is a pure Java based framework. You require core Java programming to design the UI pages. So guys, like if you have any doubts in understanding this particular text, text tag, or if you want some more clarity on this one, please do write and uh, drop a note. I'll try to have, I try to provide you more information on this one. And again and again saying that like uh, eBusiness Suite is one of the very easy application to learn. You just require some set of programming interest to learn this one, okay? Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. And if you have any comments, please drop a note. I'll try to respond to you at the earliest. Thanks. All the best.